all right the next section we're going to look at is right to be forgotten and as you can see we haven't set it up so either click on the tab at the top or click on the link set it up okay so you can see the screen for right to be forgotten and you have to actually implement this form on a page on your website so at least one page on your website should implement this form so that people can actually file the requests and you need to link to that page in either your footer or on your sidebar or somewhere so that people can file GDPR requests. So you can put in a link on your footer, file GDPR requests and link it to that page. So I'm going to show you how to create that page first. So first just copy this little code from here. Then click on pages, click on add new. Then click GDPR request. You will, you will get a new page creation interface. All right, so we'll just call it GDPR request or make GDPR request. Put the short code here and that's it. You can then publish the page and click on view page to take a look at it. So you can see here, you've got the GDPR request form right over here. People can file four different kinds of requests, data access, forget data request, rectify data and unsubscribe. So we are currently looking at forget data request or right to be forgotten. So coming back to this page, first thing you need to set up is a default message to anyone who sends you a right to be forgotten request. So either you can type in your own message or use default text and the plugin will put in its own message over here. You can also type in the email subject and if you want to send out an email, you will need a from address. So the from address will be here and anything that you delete should be either reassigned or deleted. So if there is a post that is questionable, if it's the post from a user, you can either delete it or you can reassign it to a certain user. Now, of course, the admin will be notified about any right to be forgotten request. So your customers will be able to file forget data request over here they will be able to specify what they want forgotten and they'll be able to put in the email and click on submit request and you'll be able to delete it inside here you can look at the request that you've got and you can decide how you want to process it you can see the data that is available for the user you can also click on a button and forget the associated data with it and once it's done the user will get a confirmation on their email so the most important thing is to first create a page using that short code and that word that short code actually works for data access data breach and data rectification as well uh, so you need to create that short code a page based on that short code to actually gather the requests